Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all having a lovely week out there. Today we're going to talk about a, a common raw food diet mistake for beginners. Uh, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down there now and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications to stay subscribed to the channel. Um, listen, I'm going to put I'm going to put together a little playlist of the not I don't know if it's the two most recent, but two like two. I've got about three videos, including this one, that I want to put in a little beginner series where you'll have nice like a little playlist because I've done some beginner videos here again in the last, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks, and I just thought I'd put them all in one place. So I will have a link to that playlist down below, and if my old senile ass forgets, y'all poke me and remind me to do it. So the biggest uh, common raw food diet mistake for beginners, I mean, you know, there's probably a number of them, but what would you say is maybe one of the biggest? I wouldn't say it's the biggest. I think it is might be the biggest, but one of the biggest is, is people uh, having this um, unrealistic expectation of perfection and this unrealistic expectation of perfection, which leads to them, there's no satisfaction, no matter how well they do, if they're not doing it perfect, they can't enjoy the health benefits that they're gaining from this. Um, you know, it's like everybody thinks they have to go from A to Z overnight. I understand, you know, you see some of the material out there, you see some stories of how people have changed their lives. Um, you just see all the results people are getting and you want to go there. But it's too many people just want to go from A to Z like that. And most people are just not doing it. If you can do it, God bless. If you can just one day say, I'm going to be a raw, I'm going to follow a raw food diet. I'm going to be raw vegan. And you can go a hundred percent and you can go very in a, a healthy form of it. God bless. Most people are not going to do that. So stop trying to be perfect. And part of that perfection manifests itself in, I notice people just obsess over every detail. I pay attention. I go and look at other people's accounts on Instagram and I read a lot of the comments and questions that other people get in addition to mine. And it's always some little, very, something very specific. Like a lot of the questions I get, I'm almost, I don't know what to say here because I don't put that much thought into it. One of the biggest ones I'm getting all the time is how much or how many of this. Well, how much, uh, what, like, I, I, I make nice cream on Instagram. I make nice cream on Instagram all the time. They want to know exactly, wait, wait a minute, how many bananas and how many, what's the ratio of this to that? I just kind of, I don't have ratios. I don't live in the world of how much and how many. That is an approach that I think is a big mistake on this raw food diet thing, too, is people trying to follow this like you do a diet, even though we're saying raw food diet. We don't mean like a, actually a diet. Diet, by definition, is also just how we eat. But I think a lot of people are trying to do it like you would do Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, or any of those other ones. You want like a list of, okay, I eat this amount of this and one of these and a tablespoon of this and blah, blah, blah. And it's not like that, and it's really not all that important. Let me throw in my catchphrase that I'm starting to uh, say all the time. The cleaner you can eat, the cleaner you eat, the more you can eat. So, you know, just think of it like that. Um, one of the things I like to uh, stress to people is learn the basics. Learn the basics and work from there. Get yourself to a healthy plant-based lifestyle first. First of all, don't obsess over this raw thing, these labels, fully raw vegan, raw is law. And stop listening. You know, sometimes um, the groups watching YouTube videos and forums can be a good thing or a bad thing. When you have all these people preaching this shit to you and, and you know, the little catchphrases like, cooked food is poison and this and that and whatever. And look, anybody out there before you're trying to correct me, my channel's not for you purists. My channel is really not, I mean, if you're up there, if you're the detox specialist and if you're a coach and if you're all this, then why are you watching this crazy ass old man? Go do, go do a channel. Go put out your content. Don't be lurking around and sneaking into uh, everybody else's videos and into their groups trying to preach the stuff. If you've got that solid raw as law message, make some content. But I don't obsess over that. I, I, talk, I'm, I advocate learning the basics and going from there. 
learn and and you know what it's not necessarily don't go out and try to find every raw food book you can you can figure out a lot of the raw part of it i like the basic stuff i like watching stuff listening to stuff from uh t t colin campbell i i mix names up all the time uh t colin campbell dr esselstein um um dr gregor dr gregor those books are good how not to die um, but I also like raw books. I, I get a lot out of 80, 10, 10. But what I'm saying is, it's just get yourself a big, a big picture of all this stuff. You know, read a couple of really good books on a plant-based diet, read a book or two on raw and start playing with it. Start using yourself like I've done for these past, um, you know, eight years almost now. This is not like I sit, that's just not my approach. That's, and that's not my channel. You know, it's just like, I just do this thing. I don't think all that much about it. I don't think all that much about it other than I do sit around and think, okay, I do go back and think, okay, well, wait a minute. Am I getting enough of this? Have I been eating enough of this? So I do try to make sure I get certain things, but I just, I don't obsess over it. Um, and like I say, all of this stuff is just from my point of view. I want to get as many people as possible to a healthy version of a plant-based diet that I can. Um, you know, the raw, I do advocate the raw. And, you know, like I say, when I talk about the purist and whatever, I'm not throwing shade and it's not like I'm that far away. I eat mostly raw. I eat mostly raw every day. Um, the cooked food I eat, you know, is minimal, but I don't, I, and I don't care. I don't care. I don't ever try to, you know, explain that away or make any excuses for it. I eat cooked food when I feel like it. I'm going to have a salad here in a little while, and I'm going to make a salad, a Caesar salad with uh, Raw Food Romance's uh, recipe on there, and I'm going to put a potato on there, oh, and I'm going to put some uh, Brussels sprouts on there as well. It's just what I do. That's how I like to eat. But the perfection thing and always worrying you're never got you're never going to accomplish anything if you think like that and that can be in most things in life um is is just putting too much pressure on yourself and like i say a lot of it comes from that what's that, what's the what's the saying that people say comparison is the thief of uh, happiness or something like that it's mostly people comparing themselves to other people and you know what i got skeptical after the first uh year year and a half maybe two years of being on this lifestyle when i would go into these facebook groups and i see all these people that will argue over and over and over and they get into these discussions about this and that and i see all these people in there that are continuously showing their food and they if if they were eating like they say they're eating they're just pristine they're almost eating no fat nothing but raw food nothing but fruits but i don't see the results i don't see they don't look like they're thriving from it and i'm just like i'm sorry yes all of our bodies are different and food is going to affect our body differently but i'm just like you just don't have the look of a healthy person you don't have the look of a person that is eating like you're saying that you're eating so a lot of times when you're comparing yourself to people in these facebook groups instagram youtube facebook whatever um you're not getting the most honest uh, version because I'm going to tell you right now, I, I've called BS, not to them, just in my head to a lot of people like, I'm sorry, you got 50 pounds to lose, but you're telling me that you're constantly on a juice fast and you're constantly doing this. It just doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. Um, and also, too, uh, another common mistake, I had, you know, I'm not making a list of common mistakes, but another common mistake is is not taking responsibility for this thing for yourself, is looking to people constantly, oh my God, what do I do here and there? It is all out there. Don't give your power over to others. You don't need a YouTube guru. You don't, there's nothing that I put out on this channel that you actually need. Other than, like I say, what I try to do is, I don't, I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I don't want you to go raw. I don't want you to go this. I don't want you to go that. I try to point you in different directions and let you make your own decisions. I like people that think for themselves. I've, I've always rebelled against anybody that kind of tries to shape my thinking. I like people that offer me options, so that's what I do for other people. I, I mention a wide variety of people, resources, books, um, things to watch, documentaries, um, but I don't ever, ever, 
ever advocate having that your one person. And I see it. I see that worship on Instagram all the time where you can see, you know, if you read comments, like I'll, I'll, I'll decide one week, okay, I'm going to follow these three people and read a lot of their comments this week. They all have fanboy and fangirls that just lit, like hang on every word that this person says. And that is just, and a lot of them are good people. I'm not, listen, I'm not throwing other people under the bus. I'm just saying, nobody's smarter than you. You can figure this stuff out. Um, I did. And I, I, came, I, I came into this after being a old crazy drunk for 30 years. So you can figure this stuff out. You have Google. Um, and having said that, I'm not telling you not to watch YouTube videos. I'm not telling you not to participate in uh, forums or, or on Facebook groups. I'm just saying you always drive the car. I always like that analogy about you being the one driving. You be in control. You, dis you take information in and do with it what you will, but always make your own decisions and just don't, don't blindly follow anybody. There's just so many tragedies out there in the raw food world that have just led so many people astray. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. You know, see it, and, and hey, I'm, I'm not, like I say, I may not be your person, but look, if you're going to listen to somebody, look at the person you're listening to and at least say, well, okay, well, I, they look, they look healthy. That looks like something that I want to, you know, get right there. But uh, perfection, don't get caught up in the perfection. And that is a lesson that I probably need to uh, learn myself in areas other than food. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you later this week. Peace.